Like people will take a word that the Bible uses. You know, the Bible uses the word piss, which, you know, we understand that's urine, but then they'll use it to explain them being angry. Toasty! How is that a biblical use? Oh, it's a Bible word. Well, your usage of it isn't. Yeah, I get it that the Bible calls a donkey an ass, but that doesn't mean you can use that to talk about somebody's backside. What is wrong with you? Hey, you are perverting, you are profaning the words of God because you are. You're justifying your use of it based on the fact that it's the words of God. The words of the Lord are pure words. Then use them the way the word uses them. Use them the way the Lord uses those words. Don't use it the way the perverts use it. Don't use it the way Hollywood uses it. This is real common sense, folks. And let me tell you something. I, I'm not, I don't put up with this stuff. You know, we don't do biblical cussing in our church from our pulpit. Somebody ever did that, uh, you know, they're not going to be preaching again, especially when they know better. It's, it's not going to happen. And, and, you know, again, there's some people, they might use some of those words in ways that I necessarily wouldn't. And I, you know, and I'm not, you know, going to, you know, I've got my lines, you know, that, that I, that I draw. Uh, somebody can use some of these words a little freer than I can, and I'm not going to hate them for it. But, you know, there are some words that there is, there's, there's no excuse to use. There, there's no reason to use the F word. There's no reason to use a lot of these other words, you know, the S word, the F word, or uh, B word, things. There's, there's no reason for that. There's nothing edifying, right? There's nothing expedient. It's only offensive. People, you know, often do it just for shock value, just trying to be a shock jock. It, it, that kind of thing is absolutely not okay. Okay. 